Yes, hello everyone. Uh, today we'd like to look at how we can fetch data from an API. How can we easily fetch data from an API as we are in React? We'd like to fetch data within the app. Um, this is from an API. Yeah. Uh, let's get started from scratch. Uh, so, we'll need to go to JSON placeholder. JSON placeholder. Click this first link. Would you like to get an API free pack free pack API so that we can easily use that that other than wasting time to write can use fake data from an API a uh, scroll down and come here to roots and come here to roots go direct to your vs code and direct to your vs code and uh, here in create a folder code components a new file Let's name it fetching data dot js uh, Yeah, you can easily start typing and make your code so well let's import it in our app dot js let's uh, fetching data fetching data and let's import it here import fetching fetching data let's see whether it has worked it failed i have imported it two times now let's try to see yes has worked well I will not go in styling CSS our main main focus is on how we can fetch data if you'd like to get the source code it will be included in the desk description down you can go and fetch for the source code on github uh, so here you will need to install axios axios just go to your terminal just go to your terminal and run npm install axios Once once done, if you check in the package.json, you see Axios installed. Uh, so, we we'll also need to import 
we need to import axios from axios I say we also import here use effect because we will use use effect to fetch that import use effect from react also import use 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 state from react say const const post comma set set posts equals use state use state it it will be an empty R um, from there I will say use effect put a callback function and say uh, we need to import the data Here is where we we'll get our data. Uh, posts click here. Uh, here is the data we'd like to face. Just copy the link. Come back and say Axios dot get put your link here and then say dot then dot then response uh, console dot log response dot catch we would like to catch uh, the error in case there comes an error console.log console.log error yes that's it and let's first see um I uh, just copy this. I have done the work except in app.js. Uh, once we see that fetching data is not defined, uh, 
Yes. We need to import it here and say import fetching data. Let's try to see whether it works. Um, we also need to import. We also need to import. Now our worker is good. Um, so uh, we we imported fetching data. Here is the exactly way. I mean app dot js. Um, then fetching data. Um, here uh, we can say. You can proceed and say return um yes sir. put a u l and put a function sir posts dot map Post dot map post dot map post post dot map post put an arrow function sir. L I L I then say post dot the title post dot title I say key he equals post dot id uh, using this way of the title the id so go direct to your the browser uh, log host Then come here, we see object, we see that our data is being fetched. Now I'd like to display it here. Uh, um, let's say data data from an API uh, now we'd like to display these posts here uh, then we come to the response and say set posts Set posts response dot that now our work has been fetched successful. Our work has been fetched successfully, but we see that. Fetching data is continuous, it has no limit. 
would like to break this and uh, say put a comma and put an empty R to break the to break this data from being fetched unlimited. So once you refresh you can say that data is being fetched once. Yes, that's it. Hope you have got something how to fetch data from an API. Yeah, feel free to like, comment,